In this video, we will explain the basics of IMF quotas, special drawing rights, SDRs, and how countries contribute to them. We have already covered the establishment of the International Monetary Fund, IMF, its key objectives and functions, and how it helped during Sri Lanka's 2022 economic crisis in a separate video. Be sure to explore the rest of the videos in this playlist for more insights. IMF quotas are like each country's membership contribution to the organization, determining how much they contribute, their voting power, and their access to loans. For example, India's quota is 2.75%, meaning it provides this share to the IMF and gets the same percentage of voting power in decisions. Larger quotas, like the US, give more votes and influence. Quotas also set borrowing limits, allowing countries like India to borrow several times their quota during financial crisis. This quota share is roughly accurate as of October 2024. Please check official IMF sources for the most precise and up-to-date allotment details. Quotas are crucial because they give the IMF the funds it needs to help countries when they face financial problems. Special Drawing Rights SDRs, are an important part and a key foundation of the IMF quota system. Special Drawing Rights SDRs, are a type of international financial reserve created by the International Monetary Fund IMF, to help countries strengthen their financial reserves, especially if they run short of foreign currency. SDRs are designed to reduce dependency on a single currency, like the US dollar. Instead, they are based on a mix of five major currencies, US dollar, euro, Chinese yuan, Japanese yen, and British pound. The value of SDRs changes with exchange rates. As of October 2024, the IMF had allocated 660.7 billion SDRs globally. India held about 13.70 billion SDRs, valued at 1.311 United States dollars per SDR. These SDR holdings are an approximate estimate as of October 2024. Please refer to official IMF sources for the most accurate and up-to-date details on SDR holdings. These SDR holdings play a crucial role in the IMF's functioning, especially in how countries contribute to their quotas. Each country contributes to its IMF quota in two parts. 1. 25% in SDRs or foreign currencies. Countries provide 25% of their quota in special drawing rights, SDRs, or major currencies like the US dollar or euro. For example, if a country's quota is 10 billion SDRs, it contributes 2.5 billion SDRs in this form. This portion is available for the IMF to lend quickly to other countries in financial need. 2. 75% in domestic currency, the remaining 7.5 billion SDRs, 75% of the quota, is contributed in the country's own currency. For instance, India would provide this part in Indian rupees, held by the Reserve Bank of India and used only under IMF agreements. This split ensures the IMF has liquid funds for emergencies, while keeping most resources in domestic currencies for specific needs. We will dive deeper into IMF quotas in another videos, covering topics like how IMF quotas are determined, their impact on borrowing, and voting power in decision-making, quota reviews, including how quotas are increased or decreased over time, and criticisms of the quota system. Don't forget to check out the rest of the videos in this playlist for more insights.